Hey, Run here. Should we play a game? Last time in Silent Hill we found this wonderful little puzzle. So let's have a look at this. So, the first is larger than the second, the second twice is the third, the third is smaller than the fourth, the fourth is half the first, four numbers are not repeated, three are in the top row, two are in the top row, top right row rather, and one number is the final key. So, I went away and had some thinking about this. I haven't solved it yet, but I've had a bit of a think about it. So, let's go through these in order. So, these four rules, right? Hey, how's it going? These four rules, they do tell us there's at least four digits, but it doesn't say there's not more than four digits. So I went through and I kind of like figured out like what kind of, hey, how's it going? How's it going? I kind of figured out what would kind of like meet those four rules. So there's a rule here saying four of the digits are not repeated. So that could be true if there are only four digits, right? But it does imply there's more. And I was thinking about this. You can't have five digits because then you'd have four digits that are not repeated and then you'd have one digit that's not repeat that is repeated but you can't repeat one digit, it has to be at least two more. Um, I don't think they go more than six, right? Um, for in not, not top row, two, not in the right row. So I had a bit of a think about it and I came up with one four digit solution but it doesn't include the final key which is nine, so it can't be that one. So I found two different solutions that would include six digits. I'm only working out the first four here. And then, then we need to figure out what the last two digits would be, assuming we've got these first four here. So, okay. Right, we've got three in the top row. How, how many do we need in the top row again? So we need three not in the top row. So with this one, we would need to add two more that are not in the top row and we need two that are not in the right row. So let's just start right in the sense. We need three that are, that are in, say, like, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we need two in the right column, and we need two that are not. So we need, for that one, we'd need a six and a nine, and that would actually work. That would get us four unique numbers. That would be, you know, like the two, one, three, and nine. And then we get repeated six, which, oh, okay, let's give, that, let's give that a try. So it's gonna be, Hang on a second. I didn't think about this really. Ah! Okay, let's get the keypad up. So it's going to be six, two, one, three, six, nine. That didn't work. Let me just try that again. I might have missed a key press. Six, two, one, three, six, nine. Okay, that didn't work. Let's, let's double check out. Let's double check our math here. What have we got? What have we got? So, so what have we got? Um, I know, right? I know, but this is a puzzle. I have to figure this out. Ah, um. Okay, let's double check this. So A is greater than B, yep, that's true. And B is two times C, that's also true. You know, two is multiplied by two times one. And A is two times D, that's also true. Okay, and let's double check that we've got the right number on the top row here. So one, two, and three are on the top row. Yep, that makes sense. So now we've got three on the top row, two in the right column, that's three and six, because one and two are in the first and second column. So, so, um, we need three not in the top row. So we have three in the top row, so that'd be three, that'd be, I mean, I mean, we need both of the extra numbers to be on the, uh, below the top row, so that's why I went with six and nine. And we need two that are not in the right row. And we already have two that are not in the right row, so that should have worked, shouldn't it? And it does include the final key. One of the numbers is the final key, nine. Why wouldn't that work? <laughs> <laughs> now, I did find an alternate solution to it. Um, and I'm going to try that. Let's see here. Actually, actually, we need to think about this. So it's got two on the top row, and we need, like, what was it, like three not in the top row? So we need to put one in the top row and 
two are not in the right row. So, hmm, does that solution work? Because you'd need a three and a nine. Hang on, no. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm having, I'm having a complete brain meltdown here. Um, we've got two in the top row, yeah, and we need three not to be in the top row. So we need three on the top row. So we need one in the top row and one below it, right? So that could be a three. So yeah, I think that would be... That'd be a three and a nine. Let's try those. Let's see what happens if we type those in. Again, I really should have thought about this and made the window transparent or something. Okay, so it's... Six, two, that didn't click. Six, four, two, three, and then we need one in the top row in the right hand column. That's that one, and that one. Huh. Let me just check the riddle again. Maybe I've, I'm just gonna minimize notepad. Maybe I've missed something here in the riddle, but I'm pretty sure that meets all the criteria. The first is larger than the second. The tw second is twice the third. So. Okay, let's just double check that against the, <laughs> against the inequalities that we wrote in here. So yeah. First is larger than the second. Yep, got that. The second is twice the third. Yep, got that. The third is smaller than the fourth. Yep, got that. And the fourth is half the first. Yeah, got that as well. Okay. So then, four of the numbers are not repeated. That's fine. Because it means we're repeating, we have like exactly one pair of repeated numbers and both of those two solutions have that. Three are not in the top row two and not in the right row. And one of them is the final key, so... Pretty sure both of those solutions met all those criteria. Maybe I'm missing something, because I'm pretty sure a puzzle wouldn't have multiple solutions. That'd be kind of weird. Hmm. Let's have a bit of a look around. Maybe there's something else here. Oh yeah, that's right. I didn't really explore the ground floor. I basically just um, got spooked by this nurses and ran. <laughs> okay. I don't think I checked if the other floors worked either. Yeah, I overthought my math is wrong. It's it's to be honest, it's quite likely my math is wrong. <laughs> So I did, um, rather than not look at, oh, hey, hey, not you, not you, not you. Um, rather than like looking at my environment, I basically um, looked um, on the, on the, uh... <laughs> yeah, I have to send, I have to send it over. Like the, uh, the, the notes are on one of the Silent Hill wikis and I read the one for the highest difficulty and it goes on for quite a while. There are many pages. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I need to apply some violence here. Oh. Damn, so this does not want to go down. And there's quite a few of them. Um, hmm. What do I do here? What do I do here? Because... <laughs> Ultra violence, you say? It's time for the katana. Oh, actually, that kind of worked. Yeah, that seems to have a lot more stopping power than the pistol, which surprises me quite a lot. And then, go on, finish them off. Finish them off. Ah. All right. Ah, once again, the world of <laughs> broken locks. Nope. 
Uh, apparently so, apparently so. Oh, actually, I just think I just hit, hit multiple at once. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> Unfortunately, my frame rate is weak to nurses. Oh. Whew. That's a lot of nurses. Oh, was there anything in here? Nope, it was a monster closet, I think. It's broken. Oh, that's crit. Oh, uh, oh, what do they call these? Um, you know the things where pe people basically, uh, like they take like an item and they break it apart and like arrange it artistically. That's <laughs> what this kind of looks like. Cookie, a toothbrush, a spoon, a Christmas card, a clock. Ah, a key. Ah, that's what the nail varnish remover is for. That probably works on that, right? If I can find it. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> there's been a couple of those so far. Um, there's, um, there was like a dance club in the previous area that kind of looked significant. It was like, it was a large room. There was lots of like posters signposting you to it. And yeah, the room itself had very little to do with anything. Okay, where was the stairwell? The stairwell was there. Let's get in there. Yeah, I just never tried that door. All right, let's go downstairs. Let's get the uh, let's get the dungeon over with. That was weird. It, hang on, it kind of looked like there was blood down here as we were heading down the stairs. It kind of looks like there's a big blood stain down there, and you head down there, and it's just it's it's clean again. And there's a door here that I'm pretty sure wasn't there a second ago. It's another wheelchair. We have one of these in the, um, in the sewer. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Someone went out in an absolute blaze of glory here. Don't mind if I do. Great for continuous firing. That's my kind of weapon. <laughs> and given that Katana seems to be serving us pretty well against the enemies here, I'm probably going to save that for, say, a boss or something. Ah. I think this might be... Yeah, this is right next to the puzzle door that was, uh... <laughs> that I'm probably doing some wrong math on. Yeah, it has similarities, isn't it? Oh, wait, this one's locked too. Oh, hang on. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Is the code downstairs actually for this door? All right, okay, so a bit of an explore round first and just explore this kind of area before we start trying that theory out. You gaze into the save point. A stun gun battery? We're getting a lot of guns in this game. I mean, like, the, uh, the original game have, like, 
free guns. I, it had way more melee weapons, but it had, had a small number of guns. This almost seemed to be getting everything. <laughs> yeah, I'm just heavy, your average teenage girl, proficient with semi-automatic weapons and trained in the blade. A apparently, I guess. I mean, they have made out that she's some kind of like special... <laughs> she has some special abilities. Wait, we didn't call the left of this floor, did we? Does the lift go here now? Because it previously wouldn't go here. That's weird. Oh, we can't get back out. We're stuck in here. <laughs> oh. It's a it's a uh, it's a lift with a one-way door. You can you can go in, but you can't ever get out. No thanks, no thanks. <laughs> ah, get for the door, Heather. <laughs> okay, back up we go. Back up we go. I need to get that big notepad window out and uh, try the code, which I've definitely forgotten on this door. Okay, here we go. Where's it gone? There it is. Okay. I need to scroll down so I can see the code. Okay, so. Six, two, one, three. And then, I think it was six, nine. No, that wasn't it. Um, hang on, hang on a second. We need three not in the top row, so yeah, that'd be six or nine. And was it two not in the right column? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Two are not in the right row. So yeah, that should have worked. Maybe it's the other solution. Six, four, two, three, and three, nine. No, it's not that one either. Don't know. Okay, back to back to wandering around in circles. Oh wait, wait, I've gone to the wrong floor. That's why the code is my <laughs> I've gone to floor two and yeah, the hypothetical door that might work with that goes on floor three. Ah Can't I can't count staircases, okay? I was so excited to try out the password, I just <laughs> forgot which floor I was going to. It, it is, but uh, my observational skills are pushed to the limits right now. Okay. Six, two, one, three, six, nine. No, that didn't do it. So then it was six, four, two, three, three. No, it didn't want that one either. Ah, okay. We returned to wandering around in circles trying to figure out what the hell we're meant to be doing. Um, maybe we can get through the day room over there. Nope. Maybe there's something further upstairs. There isn't there is another floor. Oh actually there's a door at the end of this kind of passageway here. I swear if I go in here and there's just a big password written on the wall. Oh yeah, this is the padded cell. I remember this from too. <laughs> yeah, maybe we'll bump into James and Maria if we um, keep exploring. Oh, hello. 
So finally, someone's come to rescue me. <laughs> I've been stuck in this pad itself for weeks. Okay, it's just another monster closet, isn't it? Yeah, it's another monster closet. Ah. Wait, what's this on the wall? Oh. The trick is not to leave any marks. Oh. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> Best I can do is a katana, I'm afraid. Okay, let's see if we can go upstairs. I'm not expecting to be able to. I'm expecting I'm meant to be going through that door right now. Oh, we can. Okay. Oh, hello. Hmm. I really want these. No, I don't think it's Batman. Oh! <laughs> I don't think it's Batman. Oh my, this is, uh, this is quite a small space to fight some... Oh, 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 no, no, go that way, no! Oh. Oh. There's not a lot of space for fighting some pretty big guys. Have a look at the enemy. Have a look. <laughs> yeah, they appear to be. Oh. <laughs> ah! No! no. <laughs> it would. I. I have one, but I'm trying to keep the ammo for it. I mean, cause I could have used the pistol on something. It doesn't seem to be that useful or anything at this stage in the game. Yeah, let's go with the shotgun, you're right. Okay. Okay, that's good. No, oh, Heather! No! <laughs> Oh no! Oh, I think that might be it. Oh! I thought I could get away with the kick. I couldn't get away with the kick. <laughs> and, see, most normal people would just, you know, kick and then run away and... Not this girl. Right, which floor are we on? Okay. Well, we know not to bother with the uh, confinement rooms. Let's, let's just uh, carry on up. And this time, we're not messing around. We're going straight in with a shotgun. Um, I didn't really see anything, but I was a bit busy running around screaming, so... Oh, wait. Okay, lock is broken. And that's pretty much it. Ah! Yeah, let's do this as a scouting mission. Oh, there's some machine gun bullets. I wonder if I'm meant to be using those right now, given they've just given me ammo for it. Let's give it a try. Got both of them. Let's get as far away as camp from the ah! <laughs> I was close. Oh damn! It's just dead. I think. I haven't seen any blood come out of him yet, but he seems pretty dead. Oh, this guy isn't. 
That's beautiful, I'm kicking the wrong- Ah! Oh, I don't know how I got away with that, but I'm glad I did. <laughs> oh. Oh no, I'm out of bullets! Ah! <laughs> Oh damn, I hope I didn't need that ammo for something important later on. <laughs> oh. Okay. I think this was just an ammo room, I don't think there's anything else up here. Uh, ammo that I've now spent, um, killing the monsters in here. Ha. Huh. Well, <laughs> back to staring at the locked door I can't figure out how to open. It does, but it's kind of boarded up. Um, and usually if something's interactive, even if it's... Usually she'll have something to say about it, you know, like, um, oh, you know, I need, like, the right tool for this or something. Uh, only cuts nurses, not um, <laughs> not planks. All right, I don't think it's anything this way. Yeah, I remember this from from uh, Silent Hill Two, and I was like, oh, it's kind of weird they put that there. Okay, back to staring at this door. Door, reveal to me your secrets. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, memos. Here's the second floor. The first is Larson's. Well, I was thinking this, but um, I don't think it does take any four inputs because, because here's the thing, right? One of the numbers is the final key. Now that to me must mean it's the ninth key, right? I mean, what else would it kind of be? But then if you look at this riddle here, there's basically no solution to this. Where, um, because one of them is, because two of the numbers are doubles of the other numbers, it means that they can't possibly be nine. So there can't be four, there can't be only four digits because if you only have four digits, it couldn't both be nine and one of these two doubles. And it definitely can't be one of the numbers that's lower than the doubles. So there has to be at least five. And there's a later rule saying that... Wait, you're right. We picked up a key and we haven't used it. You're completely right. Let's examine the key. Well, wait, no, we have used it. It was a stairwell key. It was a stairwell key. But yeah, you, you make a good point. Maybe it's not talking about like... Um, like a number pad key, it's talking about something else key. But I'm not carrying any. Um... Hmm. Anyway, so like, the other thing I was just going to say about the, the kind of like remaining. First number is eight. Hang on a second, let me bring up the, uh, let me bring up the, uh, the notepad. Right, so I had the first number as eight here, but uh, I didn't think it was that because um, when I kind of like try tried to arrange it into a six-digit number, uh, it didn't match up well with like, the um, tops and the sides. Let's work this out. So um, three are not in the top row, so we've got got three, and so not yes, yeah, so we've currently got one in the top row. So yeah, I can't, um, I don't think, I don't think it's this solution because, um, hang on, hang on, I'm thinking, ah, ah, I'm struggling to keep as many numbers in my head at once. Um, two are not in the right row. Yeah, um, hang on, I'll bring up the keypad. One of the things that, um, yeah, I probably should have explained that actually. Um, especially given I keep covering it up with the, um, with the notepad window, which I should have made transparent. Um, sorry, yeah, I forgot I had the notepad window open. Um, so yeah, um, 
this is this is your keypad. This is our canvas. Um, so yeah, it, one of them is the final uh, the num. One, two, and three are not in the code. So it says the final key is one of them. And I'm pretty sure the first four numbers, none of them can be nine. Let's bring the memo back up. Um, first of and second, second, twice the third. So yeah, um, three are not in the top row. Four, but this is one of the ones here, like four of the numbers are not repeated. And that can only mean it's four, six, or maybe even more. And the reason that's the case is um, if you have four numbers, well, you can have four unique numbers, but you can't have five numbers where four of them are unique and one of them isn't because then you'd have five unique numbers. So it must be four or six. But the fact that I don't think it's possible for any of the four numbers to be nine according to this, and one of them is the final key, suggests to me it has to be. Well, it says four of the numbers are not repeated. It could be that actually two of them are. Because if, if it's a six digit code, which I think it has to be given, sure. The first is larger than the second, the second is twice the third, the third is smaller than the fourth, and the fourth is half the first. So what that means is, um, the second and the first both have to be um, even, right? And is it four numbers? How can it be four numbers? Because here's the thing, right? The first and second must be even, which means that neither of them can be nine. And the third and fourth are, sorry, yeah, and the others are smaller, meaning they can't be nine either. But then there's a bit here saying one of them is the final key, which means that one of them must be nine. And the only way I can possibly see that squaring up with these four rules is if there's six digits, especially when it says the four numbers are not repeated. Now I do have a single, one of my kind of like solutions that kind of came up offline is four digits that meet Meet these first uh, meet those four, first four rules, but there's no nine in there. Yeah, um, one of the numbers is yeah. This this was a bit hard. I think if I'm making a mistake, it's probably here. These two rules are quite difficult to um, kind of get my head around. Eight four two four. But does that include the final key? I'll just, I'll just try it anyway, see what happens. Um, I think they mean a column. I mean, I, I know, right? I, makes no sense, but I think that's what they mean. Oh wait, it can't be 8424 because the numbers won't be unique. Hmm, I'm not, I'm, but at least with my understanding of it, it can't be four numbers. So it does say, it does tell you exactly, you know, how the relationship between the first four numbers. Eight and four are the first and last. Hang on a second. Yeah, because so I've got that here. Let me just try it again. Let me just try that again. Eight, six, three, four. Eight, six. Okay, I'll bring it back up again. Um, I go for it really slow. So the first is larger than the second, and the second is twice the third. Third is smaller than the fourth, the fourth is half the first. Yeah, I recommend trying this on some paper or something because that's, well, not that it got me anywhere, but they got me closer, I think.
Didn't actually didn't I just try that? Hang on. Yeah, I tried A six three four. It wasn't it wasn't that one. I think it's not that one because um, also I'm just gonna go downstairs and try down there because we've got two of these password key doors. And I'm not sure why there's two doors. There's two of them. One of them has a note next to it. The other one doesn't. But I did try all these codes in this door earlier and they didn't seem to work. So let's try it again. Oh, but wait, how, wait, hang on, hang on a second, how is one of the numbers the final key true? What, what does that mean? What, what, hey, huh? Eight, eight, six, three, four. What does any of the, how are any of those numbers final? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> well, I'm glad to know the first number I thought was right was right. I must have entered it wrong or something. The start time is my, oh no, don't keep going on about keys. The start time is my key. Well, I mean, I was trying to figure out what the final key is, is in the code means. I mean, what else could it mean other than nine? It's the final key on the keyboard, surely. Okay, background unknown, no agent unknown. I just want to know what that, what that rule means because what else could it mean? Ah, okay. Wait, hang on, hang on a second. Is one of them a code for the upstairs? Are half the rules for the upstairs door and half them for the downstairs door? It did, yeah, it said the start was the key. So. Let me just check here because, let me just check that again. It said the start was the key, didn't it? Start time is my key. Okay. And it said room M4 there. Which room was that? Because uh, just because the note's next to the guy doesn't mean it's uh, related. Well, I'll tell you what, um, go look on the wiki, the, um, the, the hint for the, uh, the nightmare difficulty, because that, that is a, that is a short, that is a short book. That is not a hint. Is someone just shooting? Wait, does that have a gun? I mean, the medic in Team Fortress 2 has a gun. Um, I, I, that, it might be that exact note I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm definitely looking that up later and figuring out what, I'm, well, finding out, not figuring out what on earth they mean by, um. <laughs> Help is on the way, block. I find out what on earth they meant by, the final key. Ah! <laughs> no! Well, at least the katana seems to be low P. There better be something in this room now, game. No, stamp on the one that's moving. There we go. 
Thank you, Heather. Anyway. Now the health kit that probably regenerates at least a small amount of the health I just lost fighting those guys off. That does ring a bell. I'm not sure if it was Silent Hill, but it's definitely... Definitely one of the games in this kind of... thing is... can be described as having a puzzle that has a mistranslated um, hint. I want to say it was two, but I don't think it was two. Ah, wait, the start time is the key. So that is, hang on, hang on, hang on. That is 6, um, 14, that's 06, 0614. Okay, we've got 0614. See, that puzzle, if that's what it is, makes sense. Okay, let's go upstairs and so let's go upstairs. Have I done all the doors in it? Not quite. It's okay, they're all broken anyway. I can't. <laughs> I can do this. Wait. Wait, I, I, no, I can't, I can't go for the right door. <laughs> okay. <sighs> oh, six, one, four. Oh, six, one, four. <laughs> Wait, there's no zero! There's no zero. Wait, maybe it's 18 on four. <laughs> it's not eighteen one four. Let's try that again. I might have misentered it. Eighteen. Ah. No, it's not that. Okay. All right. Let's go double check. It was definitely like. Um, it was definitely 6.14, wasn't it? Pretty certain it was. Now when they say the start time, I mean... An alarm clock, that's kind of when you start the day, so I can kind of see how that would make sense, but... I don't think that's what it is. That did make too much sense. Yeah, that is definitely 6.14. Okay. Yeah, it's quite, it's, uh, it's long, isn't it? It's a long boy. <laughs> Three in that entire isn't it? It's final key. Well, it's like, it's like, it's like one minute, it's like one minute before the, before the quarter passed. Yeah, but it, it's not at three, it's one minute, it's one minute before. I mean, I can, I can try, I can try 15, but like, it doesn't look like it's at 15, it doesn't look like it's at 15.
Yeah, let's give it a go. So, 18.15. Mm, that didn't seem to do it. So, next possibility is, um, in here we have, got a memo about the corpse. Let's just double check this, because this is in the memo sections. It must be important. Background unknown, name and age unknown, not admitted patient, found in poor mental state in hospital grounds and temporarily installed in room M4 at the chief discretion. Died late tonight from blood loss, to, uh, severed cartoid artery, was grasping own kitchen knife in right hand, consumed that this was because of the neck wound, hospital suicide but wound, angle suspicious, sent to second floor treatment room for further investigation, have received no proof or corroboration of event from patient M4 was a different room. However, M I think M4 was the room where we found the clock. I think I need to double check that. But one thing I want to try before we do this is... Six, one, four... No, no. I was wondering if that, um, if that final line that made no sense from the... Um, from the memo for the um, floor below might have been um, might have been something to tack onto the end of the AM time. Okay, I'm pretty sure M four was this one. Yeah, it's where we found the alarm clock. Anything else in here? Hmm. So let's have a look here. So, oh, there's actually a door we haven't tried yet. Oh, okay, there we go. Yeah, the second floor treatment room. Let's have a look. Um, oh wait, hang on. We're on the second floor. And... Uh... I tried, it didn't seem to do anything when, when I touched the briefcase. I'll um, give it another go. Oh! <sighs> okay. Yeah, let's double check the clock. That's definitely 18... Sorry, 1814, not 1813. Okay, maybe it's 06. Hallelujah! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, not an instant camera. I have memories of those from Silent Hill 1. Okay, what are we going to do with this? What are we going to do with it? Now, unlike the one in Silent Hill 1, it doesn't talk about flashes. What could I do with an instant camera? Okay, I've got a stupid idea, but I'm just going to test it because it might not be as stupid as I think it is. Well, the reason I tried it on the door is I, I did try interacting with the briefcase at least once, and I just guess I wasn't standing close enough to it. No, there's no way you take a picture of that. No, there's no way. Okay, what the heck do I do with this? I only tried it briefly, I might not have gotten close enough. Hey, there's still kind of like a red mark down there, that's interesting. 
What the heck do I do with a camera? <laughs> it's true, if your game is a hitbox, I'm gonna miss it. Yeah, I'm, I was thinking like it's my... You need to take a photo, yeah, but um, I'm trying to think of what. I mean, it might be of the dead guy. I can't think of many things you'd want to take a photo in here, uh, over here. I can't use that here. Well, you you can. Hmm. Oh wait, um, M5, and that was the room which had the monsters in it. Maybe there's something more to that room. Um, I'm afraid it's Silent Hill, and oh, hang on, a bloody wall. There was one at the bottom of the um at the bottom of the stairwell. It's where the, uh, where we found the machine gun and was just... I've done, it, I've done it again. This is not the stairwell. This is not the stairwell. That's, that's the wrong half of the stairwell. <laughs> we'll get there eventually. Yeah, thanks for the hint on this one, because I would never have thought to do this. Why would I ever think to do this? <laughs> oh! Hang on. I want to peek in, but it's a little creepy too. There's your hint, I guess. Although you have to stand in the right pl- No? No? Do I have to take it from a distance? You know, is framing important to it? No? Oh, it's a... So it's not the one where they say they want to peek inside because that would actually make some bloody sense. <laughs> Again, cryptic, but I could at least understand the logic to that one if that was what it was, but it's not that. Okay. I wonder if this might have been... I don't really remember what was going on over here, so it might be down here on the first floor. Why is puzzle design so hard to get right? Oh no, I didn't want to go on the lift. This is the wrong place. Can I get back out now? Yep, let's sweep it once again. Ugh, I'm stuck in the lift. Damn it. Well, my lift thing is kind of a uh, kind of annoying. There we go. Yeah, there really is. I mean, like they might not feel like puzzles, but they're both simple to make, simple well, simple to make, simple to design, and you can eventually get them with brute force. Oh, hello. Oh, you're kidding. Well, what's, what's that say? Gonna, does that, wait, hang on, does this, does this say, gonna beach in the sea? Is that what, actually what that says? I, it's, it's, <laughs> what a weird thing to put on a, on a poster. Yeah, it's very, very, very faint for me, but I'm very sure that says Gunner Beach in the Sea. I've, I've taken a screenshot of it, I'll, I'll, I'll post it up later. So, past the wheelchair, so around here. 
Don't go in the left, it's haunted. Go in the stairwell. Yeah, it might have been quite difficult to read, which is probably how it got past the uh, yeah, past localization stuff. So yeah, so past the wheelchair, and here's a here's a bloody wall. Why would I take a picture of this? Because there's no shelf in here. There was... No, they, unfortunately they don't open. Hang on, there was another wheelchair in here. There was another wheelchair in this building somewhere. Yeah, I was going to say, there's, there's definitely... Wait, was there something on the floor there? Ah, there is. Aha. Okay, yeah, I don't remember exactly where it was. Um, yeah. Um, so first of all, I'm just going to try these ones over here. I'm not sure if it's one of these, but it could well have been. Uh, am I? Wait, one of, the, one of the rooms downstairs opens, because... Oh wait, there's a door I didn't try. Oh my god, there's a door I didn't try. Oh my god. I can hear the... <laughs> I can hear the game of rage from here. <laughs> okay, thanks for pointing that out. I probably would have taken a long time to notice that. If I ever did. Okay, so this is where you use the camera to look around the corner. Okay. All right. Let's see what we got, Heather. It's a rearrangement of the, like, it's the actual digits we just put into the um, suitcase, but rearranged. No, it's not. That was one four, not one three. Oh. Okay, this is floor one. This is floor two. Don't go in there yet. Classic sound effect. Okay. All right. Oh my, we're getting quite a lot of pictures now. Um, so it was 8613. <laughs> My God! <laughs> the first floor, it's real. Uh, I, not freedom, um, not yet, not yet. That, that might come later if we're lucky. Oh. oh, the health drinks to replace the ones I lost. Heather, what time is the clock? It could be important. Teaching Despair, Hope House. Hope House, an orphanage on the outskirts of Silent Hill. But behind its false image is a place where children are kidnapped and brainwashed. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Hang on. All right. Ah, ah, right, okay, the Shakespeare puzzle. On the difficulty I'm playing on, that was actually kind of easy. Oh. Hope House is managed by the Silent Hill Smile Support Society, um, a charity organization sometimes known as 4S. It is true that 4S is a well-respected charity that takes, in, that takes in poor children without homes and raises them with hope, 
but its heart is a heathen organisation that teaches its own warped dogma in lieu of good religious values. Mr Smith, temp, who lives near Hope House, had this to say. Sometimes at night I can hear their weird prayers and the sound of children crying. I went there to complain one time, but they ran me straight out. Since then it hasn't changed one bit. In fact, this reporter was refused admission when he attempted to take photographs in the facility. It, funnily enough, someone turning up unannounced to a, um, a children's home and trying to take pictures was refused. And it, yeah, they, they absolutely do have to have an evil orphanage. Even Silent Hill has an evil orphanage somehow. What exactly do the folks at Hope House have to hide? During my investigations, I was able to discover, however, a suspicious looking long, uh, round concrete tower which appears to be part of their facilities. Unfortunately, no one was willing to tell us what the tower was used for, but it seems unlikely it has anything to do with the business of raising orphans. In, fla in fact, it may be a prison or a secret place of worship. The cult religion that operates Hope House is known by the locals simply as the Order. I'm like, okay, it also had to have an order. Every single haunted town has to have an order. It's, it is the order of things. It's a religion that is deeply interwoven with Silent Hill's history, but its worship as fervent belief that they are among the elite chosen people has a dark and dangerous side. Oh, Zach, come back in four. That's cool. I intend to continue my investigation of Hope House and the cult behind it. I've always believed that telling the whole truth and showing children the true path is our most important duty. Joseph Schreiber. That name is familiar and I don't know why. Hope House. I feel like I've heard that name before. Hmm. Was perhaps our protagonist, who may or may not really be Am Harry's daughter, possibly an orphan? <laughs> Be careful not to mix them up. You don't want to poke yourself in the eye. Or um, try hitting a monster with a book. That doesn't usually do that much. This is a very particular kind of book. Ah, wasn't this where um, uh, uh, Marie um, was kind of sleeping? <laughs> uh oh. Oh, I thought that was closer than it was. What? You guys can't have guns! I'm gonna hide in this room. Oh, here we go. responsibilities. Have you come to apologize? Or maybe you still don't realize how foolish you've been. The salvation of all mankind. Ah, what a ridiculous dream. Wait, just listen to me for a second. I've heard enough from you already. How did you turn out this way? Where did I go wrong? Probably raising the cult was the bit where you went wrong. I'm not Claudia. My name is Heather. Is it? Who are you? Leonard Wolf. I'm sorry. I thought you were my daughter. Claudia is your daughter? Oh, so you know her. Yeah, we know. Are you one of her followers? No, never. When I find her, I, I'm... I can feel the hatred. What? Behind your words. The anger. You plan to kill her, don't you? Amongst many other things.
Yeah, I don't think she has. Oh my god, he's a smart person in a horror game. Heather, will you help me? Okay. If it involves killing Claudia, sure. <laughs> I mean, if you dial numbers long enough, you're going to forget someone eventually, right? What? What, what, what good is a seal? We're miles from the sea. I know, right? What's that? I don't have GPS coordinates. Oh. oh, that's a good point, yeah. I mean, a seal would be a badass sidekick. It'd be a bit unexpected to be you know, running around a seal, but I'd take it. <laughs> Seals are terrifying, I'm a huge. Or is it a walrus I'm thinking of? Is there a difference between a walrus and a seal? I have no idea. I'm assuming they're different. No, that's, that's a navy seal. <laughs> okay, now I've murdered every nurse in this place. Oh, oh, I missed a few doors, actually. What's the best thing they go nowhere? Yep, that's one. <laughs> I'm sorry to disappoint you. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but I somehow suspect Heather is not getting a pet seal. I'm going to guess the elevator doesn't work. Yep. Well, no, nope, that is. More horror protagonists should have pets in general. Oh, um, actually, speaking of um, horror protagonists with pets, doesn't um? <laughs> oh my god, I still have a keypad. I just, I just quit the game, honestly. <laughs> I've gone past the second floor. Um, uh, Alan Wake, doesn't the uh, female protagonist have like a, a police dog or something? Haunting Ground, that's the game I'm thinking of, not Alan Wake 2. Okay, the end of the hall. On the second floor. But wait, who's to say he's talking about this particular building? It could be talking about any building. I'm gonna guess he means like here. Ah! I got a bit disoriented there, I might have gone the wrong way. <laughs> ah! You're right! It's a door that doesn't show up on the map, and it's a door that presumably wasn't there earlier. How spooky. Oh my. We are going quite... Whoa! Oh, I was hoping we'd still be able to get the map up and we just see this like, tr this, you know, this triangle just like leaving the, leaving the physical realm. Oh, okay, not that way. Okay. Try and picture what this building would look like from the outside. Okay, all right. Uh-oh. 
Oh, I thought we were going to have a thing then when like the doors are kind of closing behind us. Okay, okay, so we've gone from, um, I see this game is going, ah, ah, you're getting a bit tired of grey corridors. How about some brown corridors? What's my what's my cell? So let's have a look. It's a good call. Uh, we're doing okay. Let's top it up a bit. You have to magically know that blue is better than yellow. And oh oh my! Well, he's got a seal. Oh, it's not a save point. Ah, this might be supposed to be an FMV. Ah, here's that res uh, Resident Evil. Silent Hill 1 references coming in. Did it get a little weird? Yeah. Need drug. Yeah, there's an emulator bug where this emulator doesn't show FMVs in Silent Hill 3, although it does show them in Silent Hill 2, which just makes me wonder what changed. Here we go. The weights us up here. Yeah, I, I, it's the most ambitious crossover in history. What is this guy doing? <laughs> Always has been Umbrella. The Ishimura, the Ishimura's up there somewhere as well. Oh my, what the heck is happening in here? Yeah, how far did this guy say he was down um, the end of the corridor? <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, um, this looks by organic, like, doesn't it? I don't really know how they've done this effect. This, like, very particular kind of, like, organic-looking sort of thing. Because it doesn't look like an animated texture. And I'm like, what have they done then? Yeah, we're in the belly of the... Ah! Beast. Elevator button? What? <laughs> what elevator button? What's this? Uh, what items do we still have? I'm trying to just, uh, refresh myself on that a bit. Um... <laughs> We've still got perfume. I wonder we're going to use that. We do have a lot of jerky, yeah. I, I tried to... Um... Oh god, it's a at least it's not a giant dog. Could be worse, it could be a giant dog. Okay, and then this is the big hole. I'm not going down the big hole. I can see something over there. It looks like it might be a wheelchair, I think. Okay, so we've got a non-functional elevator. Oh, hang on! Hang on, this matches the layout of the hospital. Yeah, this... Or does it? Yes, it does. Okay, that kind of makes sense. So this is the... we're now in the... Is it the basement? I think we're on like the second floor. This kind of looks like... Yes! Third, third floor, yeah. I was like, um, I recognise kind of like this sort of um, mini corridor here pointing to the north. Um, so does that mean we can get into the northeast corner as well? 
Oh, oh, I thought there's a platform there. My bad, have it, my bad. What is this? It's just a pole. It probably doesn't mean anything. I don't know. We've had <laughs> puzzle solve with nail polish, so my remover. It's kind of cool that the game has gone. Okay, you figured. Ah! Get the hell out of here. <laughs> Maybe the lift's working hell. Oh. Yeah, it looks like they do. Oh, we've got way more basements here. Take me straight to the bottom, straight to hell. So is this meant to be the same hospitals as Silent Hill 1? Because I always thought they were different hospitals. Oh. Still with this one. Yeah, they've, they've mixed it up quite a bit. I was a bit sort of, um, um, yeah, I always got that impression, but like, everyone was almost kind of, I, I guess just being in the hospital was enough to kind of like bring that kind of memory of Lisa back. It didn't have to be the same hospital, it just had to be a hospital that was also going to hell. Okay, so I see that seven and nine are seven, nine, Yeah, one six, one six seven nine. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make a note of that. See that? Yeah, I mean, that was that was kind of what I was thinking they were doing, like, you know, because, like, um, the map in Silent Hill 1 and 2 feels very different, but in this game it almost kind of feels like they're saying, no, they're the same place, but even though they feel like very different places, at least to me, they feel like very different places. Like, um, I almost got the impression from Silent Hill 1 that Silent Hill was coastal, because it had a lighthouse, whereas it feels, whereas in 2 it's explicitly on a lake. I might have missed a detail where they said it was on a lake in, in one, but I don't remember seeing anything about it being a lake. Ah! Don't worry, they've got Silent Hill Ascension on the way. Yeah, it must be the only inland lake with a, with a lighthouse in the world. Yeah, so... Ow! Oh, there's a wall here. Um, okay, it's an examination room. Okay, let's back up the surface. Ah! I just feel they're a bit more aggressive in this world. Ah, that kind of makes sense if two just made the cannon ones. I'm just going to, you know, maybe what they were trying to do all along. Ow! I imagine if you were going to make one cannon, it'd be the high, higher fidelity one, right? Oh my god! Yeah, I wouldn't really expect them to remake one using like two style assets if they already have two. Let's have a look at this chart before we kind of finish up. Please use extra caution with the patient in room 312. He should still have his religious freedom here in the hospital, but we shouldn't push his faith on others. I'm a victim too. Rumor has it he got here by stabbing someone over a religious dispute. Please be careful. Oh, Crosby. P.S. Looks like the rumor is true, according to the head nurse. I do think he's a good person otherwise, though, easy to deal with. Hmm. 
<laughs> That's a bunch of dirty syringes. I'm not going to use them. Good. Good. You, you, you're, you're smart, Heather. Well, smart for a horror protagonist, anyway. Anyway, that'll do it. Thank you very much for helping me out. And we'll pick this back up on Monday. Until then, have a great evening.